in my bag. Taylor's no. in the Bowery bag. You got the wrong bag. Oh, really? The Bowery oh. bag. The where? The guy in the purple Oh, I see. Thank, thank you for correcting me, sir. No problem. <laughs> The kids loved it, and so you're the one who's carrying Taylor. How did you get this special honor? Uh, I'm his great nephew. Oh, well, great! And that's what makes him great. Yes, yeah. No Taylor. other claim to fame, huh? Taylor. Taylor. Sorry, that's why I have to get back there. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Aren't they roses? When you get to my that you level. exist, right? I, I'm trying to. <laughs> what are? They? Aren't they roses? I you think they're roses. They're way, they're no way I don't know what they are. They're no thorns. Roses without thorns. <laughs> roses without thorns. <laughs> What's roses, Go daily, watch the What's roses without corn? <laughs> I don't know. I'm thinking it. I'm thinking it. I think the first two films I saw of Taylor when I was a baby were The Flower Thief and, uh, you were baby. and The Death of Bessie Smith. Well, I was 14 and 15 years old. Oh, my God. But I wasn't that old. What's wrong with it again? Anton's piece last night with the I, I do remember him yeah, sorry, about halfway through the meal turning around and looking up at the corner and the lamp above him, himself, and he said, if that were a Dan Flavin sculpture, we really would be in Max's, Kansas City. So that, that's, that's my most vivid memory. Anyway, after dinner, by, by then it, the sun had gone down, it was dark, and um, we were driving back to the city. Am I wrong? And you get on the TV at Brooklyn and Queens Expressway, and if you've ever been up there at night, you know there's a beautiful view of Manhattan from the BQE. <clears throat> so I was sitting, I was in the driver's seat, of course Taylor was uh, to my right in the passenger seat, and he had the skyline of Manhattan all lit up behind him. And we were listening, I put on this CD on the stair on the car stereo. Uh, that it was it was Lou Reed and John Cale had done a tribute for Warhol after Warhol died. The tribute they call it Songs for Drill. And 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 songs use a lot of the idiolect from the factory era, you know, a lot of words that, that are quoted. And so I was getting Hitler to translate from the idiolect in English. And I hope the fondest memory of that night is Taylor with framed against the skyline, all the that, with Louis and John Cale on the car.